How's it going everyone? You know me as Mr. Armando and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play bocce ball. Before we get started, I'm going to give you a little quick history of bocce ball. Have you ever heard of bocce ball or ever played bocce before we get started? If you have, great. You must be a professional because for me, I have never heard of it. I have never played it. But today, you and I are both going to learn and let's have some fun. So bocce ball is traditionally played in Italy and is also popular in France and Spain. The most competitive sports. I can't believe that, but it looks fun and I always wanted to play that. I always like playing new sports, okay? And I hope you don't mind here, I have my little notes to help me learn more. And it's gonna help us learn together and know the sport and we can be professionals. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you the forehand toss and the backhand toss, okay? And the main objective to the game of bocce ball is to get as your bocce ball close to the white ball. This is a tennis ball, okay? The traditional bocce ball is called palani. It's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit more harder, okay? But right now, I'm just using a golf ball, hope you don't mind, okay? But well, this is all called Palani. Can you say it with me? Palani. All right. So before we get started, okay, again, the main objective to the game is to get your bocce ball close to the white ball. You have four balls together. You have the red team and you have the green team. I have a yellow, okay, but I'm going to pretend this is red, but I mean, I can use yellow, so it doesn't matter. I think personally, the green and red represents the Italy. Okay, it represents the Italy of the sport. Okay, the sport of Italy, bocce ball. Okay, so let's get started and let's have some fun. So you first start, you flip a coin with the person to whoever goes first to throw the ball. Okay. All right, is the, the board is usually long it's like 15 or 25 feet apart and it's turf okay and if you're worth pair if you're with the team and you have two people in a team one person will have two and the other person will have two okay you will still have the same color so red team will have four balls and green team will have four balls okay so the forehand you want to keep your fingers together okay and you want to have your thumb right in the center on top. See that right there? You're going to have your thumb right there. Okay? And you want to have your bocce ball close to that Polani ball to get the most points. And in this game, you can play offense and defense. But right now, I'm just going to be teaching you the forehand and the backhand. So right now, I'm teaching you the forehand. Okay? So I'm going to be a little bit close to the ball. But I'm going to be showing you how to stand. Okay? So you see the ball. Okay? Have your fingers together, put your thumb right in the center of the ball, right on top, okay? You don't want to go full out, okay, to add more power. You want to bring it just right to your back of the ribs, okay? You want to bend your knees just a little bit, and you can release it, okay? That's it. You do the, you can, and there's a line, okay? And you'll, and you'll see the line when you play the sport. You can step on the line. But you can't go over. You can step on it and go under, but you can't step over the line. Okay? So, I already, so that, the forehand, just have your fingers together, your thumb on top of the ball, have a good stance, feet together. You want to have your body facing wherever you want to throw your ball to the direction. So it's going to look like this. Nice and easy. Okay? But the distance is going to be long to throw the ball, okay? So that's the forehand. Now the backhand is you're going to throw it like this. You want to have your fingers together. You want to have your thumb right in the center. But instead of holding it up, it's going to go down, okay? So for this one, you're going to be using it when to... Uh, not touch the turf, but I know this is grass, okay? I know, I know it's grass, but let's just imagine it's turf, okay? 
So you're gonna be using this technique to prevent touching the turf, okay? It's gonna look like this. Oh, you see, if you touch the ball, that's okay. Offense and defense, but right now, I'm just gonna be teaching you the forehand and the backhand toss, okay? So, forehand, what we learned? Forehand, thumb on top of that little center right there, fingers together, knees bent, nice and easy. You can take that little step if you want to, or you can just stay where you are and just let it go. But make sure you have that nice, good straight arch throw, like this, okay? You can tell if I throw it like this, but my body's pointing straight, you have to align with your target, okay? And the back can just flip it to the opposite. You go it's gonna be a little bit weird, but that's where you're gonna be doing. Okay. All right, let me show you another, let me show you the two demonstrations again. Forehand toss. Okay. Go back here. Oh, if you've knocked the uh, Polani down to the side, that's okay. No, backhand, um, front hand, sorry, front. Yeah, I got my two points, even though it's green and yellow, but I got boss points. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, that's bocce ball for backhand and forehand. I hope you learned something here. Practice at home if you want to be a champ or just have fun. You can teach your friends and family. Remember, this is the forehand and backhand toss. Traditionally, the sport is from Italy, but it's most popular in France and Spain. Great sport, great social sport as well. It's really fun. Keep on practicing. Hope you guys enjoy. Keep on tossing. Keep on booching balling, even though that's not a word. Hope you guys had fun. Have fun.